Hey everybody, I'm sorry I'm like a minute late. I had a couple little technical difficulties, but we're good now. I'm on the phone and I'm usually on the tablet, so um, I'm kind of getting used to the where I need to be, that kind of thing. So be patient with me, sorry about that. Today we are going to talk about um, a couple of really easy things that you can do yourself to watch, um, kind of just monitor your, your rabbit's overall health. Super easy things. Um, your rabbit may not even notice that you're actually checking up on them. Um, but if you kind of keep an eye on these things, you should, you should uh, notice things kind of before they really start to, to happen or to get bad. And you've got plenty of time then to get to the vet and get the help that you need. So let's get started. This is Mimi. Say hi. Yeah, she's a bit of a handful. She's, she's very judgmental but she's really sweet. So, noses. Noses should always be nice and dry. And when a rabbit starts to get um, a, a snotty nose, even if it's just clear liquid, then you, you might have um, the beginnings of a respiratory infection, for instance. Um, and a lot of times, um, Rabbits will exhibit symptoms like the runny noses or runny eyes when they're actually having dental problems. So it's always a good thing to notice if the noses get a little bit snotty. But let's, let's just come up here and show you this nice, oh, oh, don't fuss. Look at that nice dry nose. That's a beautiful dry nose. Yeah, all wiggly and stuff. All right. The next thing you want to pay attention to, sorry, it's a small screen, I keep having to move around. Um, the next thing you want to pay attention to is their eyes. So you want to see that the fur around the eyes is nice and dry and fluffy, and that the eyes themselves are, are very shiny and bright, and the surface of the cornea, the eyeball, um, is, is, um, doesn't have any disruptions in it, so it's, it's very smooth. Right, so here's a nice dry. Oh, I know you don't want to show off. There's a nice dry eye. You see, there's there's no um, little little matting bits or, or wet bits or anything around that eye. She's got lovely, clean, healthy eyes. So that's what we want to see. All right. The next thing you want to do is look inside her ears. Now, her ears are hard to find because she's she's just fuzz. Right. But if you look, sorry, I'm going to back up here a little bit so we can see each other again. Um, oh, I know, I know, baby cakes. I know. What you don't want to see is any um, white, dusty stuff. You just want to see um, nice, clean, pink ears. Another thing to check for is sometimes, hey, Mary. <laughs> yeah, photo bomber in the back, that's right. That's um, the one running around in the back is, is Mimi's sister, Cori Lees. You might notice she's got a little head tilt going on. She had some pasture, pastorella and she's still recovering. But she's doing great and she's a, she's a kick. She is the sweetest little girl in the world. Um, she came down and slept with me the other night. Anyway, back to the ears. So what you don't want to see is any kind of white dusty stuff. In there, um, for those of you who have dogs, you're used to maybe check our cats. You're used to ear mites looking um, kind of like waxy pepper. In rabbits, it's going to look like waxy white dust. So if you see white dusty stuff in there, you want to get to the vet. The other thing that will happen sometimes is they'll, they'll kind of be scratching at their ears sometimes. And if they have very long nails, they can actually scratch the insides of their ears with those nails. And that can become sore and infected and stuff. So you, you, you want to keep an eye out and make sure that those beautiful little ears stay nice and pink and clean and healthy. So when I say pink, let's see if Mimi is going to <laughs> cooperate with this. I don't know exactly how good the color representation will be on this, but that's pink, right? You don't want it to be deeper, deeper red. All right, so now we've kind of got the face taken care of. The other thing you want to always keep an eye on, sorry, I don't mean to be wiggling around so much. The other thing you want to keep an eye on is the nails. 
So if the nails grow too long, they can start to curve, they can even grow back into their paws. Not only that, but if, they're, if their nails are too long, it changes the way their feet hit the floor and it can really stress the skeleton and tendons and stuff in there and make them sore and kind of shift their whole carriage back and it causes all kinds of problems. So you don't want to have the nails too long. I know nails are like Mary hates to cut nails. I know that they can be really scary, but go to your vet, have your vet teach you how to do it. It's not that bad, it really isn't that bad. Um, if your rabbit has not had his nails trimmed for a while, um, it could be that the quick, that pink part inside the nail, grows quite long and you can't really cut the nails back the whole time, you know, enough without causing bleeding. What you want to do then is to keep after it every couple days and just trim a tiny little bit off and that quick will retract so that over time you can get the nails back to a regular um, length. It's kind of like people. You know, when you, when you chew your own nails, they, they get, like, the nail bed gets shorter. Well, the same thing happens. You, you just kind of chip away at it a little bit at a time, and that quick will recede. So, next place we're going to look is the private bits. Yeah. So, even though rabbits are really... Um, good about grooming themselves and if they're in a bonded pair grooming each other I mean they're always at it you know they're they're very um, tidy animals with their fur but still things can happen you know and um, especially if you have an older or an overweight or a disabled rabbit they can't always get to all of the spots enough so even if you have a rabbit who's in great shape I know we're gonna show off your bits it's rude isn't it it's just rude, but it's, it's going to help people, all right? So I'm sorry, but we're going to show off your bits. You want to check the bits, yeah? You want to check the back of those legs to see if there's any little stuff sticking there. You want to check under the tail, make sure there are no little poo bits or cicatrope bits hanging on down there. She's very tidy right now. She's really very good about it. But it's very common to get that kind of stuff hanging on. I, you know what? You're not very good at being a star, are you? <laughs> Do you see the mad ears we've got going on here? Yeah. Mad ears. Okay, so the last thing, let's see, let me see. I've got all these notes over here. Nails, way, oh, paw pads. Yeah. Especially in the winter when we've got our heat on and that heat is really dry. It can, it can help to dry their paw pads out even more than usual. Paw pads should be nice and pink and soft. If they start to get cracked, you don't want me touching your feet. I know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm obnoxious today, aren't I? Those paw pads that start to get cracked and dry can get very painful. Um, they can start to chew on them. The paw pads can then get infected, and it, it, it just gets out of control, right? So you want to check the paw pads, and you want to check this area back here. I told you a little bit ago that this area was very clean on her. For some rabbits that don't have such thick coats, um, they can get sore hawk back here, too. So you want to check their paw pads and this part of their legs to make sure there's no um, skin that is... Um, at the surface without any paw uh, fur protection and you want to make sure that um, there's no cracking or sores there yeah um, and if you do see them get some help um, read up on it get to the vet whatever because um, it's, it hurts it's really painful it's kind of like dogs that have to walk on crock, cracked paw pads in salt it stings it hurts um, and you run the chance of them chewing on it and making it even worse Okay, so paw pads. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is their weight. Rabbits can get fat. They really can, especially if they eat. Especially if they eat a lot of pellets and not so much hay. Um, pellets have just a higher calorie content. They're more, more dense. 
And so um, I, the, the other thing that can contribute to it is rabbits that don't get enough exercise. So if your rabbit's a little bit heavy, you know, play some, play some games at home and give your rabbit a lot of chance to run around the house, go up and down the steps. Rabbits are athletes. They're built to be very athletic and they need that exercise to keep their weight straight and also just to keep their digestion in good shape. Um, exercise helps their digestion too, keeps everything moving properly. So just like for humans or dogs or everybody else, exercise is important. Now how do you know if your rabbit is overweight or not? Well, there are a couple of different things you can, you can check very quickly. You can just feel along the spine, right? And you should be able to feel the spine, but with a little bit of padding, not a bunch. I mean, it shouldn't be gushy, but there should be a little padding there. You should also be able to feel the hips. Yeah, there's a nice little rump back here, and you should be able to feel those hips. Again, with a little bit of padding, not a lot, but you know, it shouldn't feel um, sharp. Yep. Uh, some rabbits have dewlaps under their chins. That is not necessarily a sign that your rabbit is overweight. Some rabbits just have them. Um, so we've got more information on, um, on a blog about how to check weight, and I can put that um, link up here after I'm done. One thing I really want to stress, though, is if your rabbit is overweight, don't try to take that weight off quickly all at once. It's very dangerous. You'll put your rabbit into something called lipidosis um, and it, it ends up being actually life-threatening. So you want to um, do it very slowly and with a vet's help to make sure that that you don't get into any dangerous situations. Yeah. So there are kind of the things that you could, oh well while you're while you're looking at that weight take a look through the coat. Run your hands through all of it. I just found, for instance, she has a little, a little spot up here that needs to be combed through. You can prevent, even on these very long-haired rabbits and the really fluffy ones, you can prevent gnats from getting so bad that um, you have to cut them out if you just check it all the time and comb through them. You know, right away, as soon as they start to happen, you can really prevent a lot of, of bad stuff from happening. Also, while you're running your hands over your rabbit and checking that coat, you also want to look for <laughs> you also want to look for an escape, right? Yeah. You want to look for any bald patches or any um, problems under the skin. So lumps, bumps, little lesions, little crusty scabs, anything like that that would indicate that there might have been a problem. Um, that's healing or that there's something that you need to, to keep an eye on in the next week or two to make sure it isn't anything important. All right, so I think she's had about as much as she can take of being a television star and we're going to go brush that little beginning of a mat out of her. And is there any questions that anybody might have while we're, while I'm still here? Um, you can always email me. Um, and here we go, take a look. My talk to the tail shirt. It's on available on our website, and I think that is actually what Mimi's been telling me the whole time. <laughs> you poor little thing. All right, let's see here. Okay. I will let Mallory know. Anybody else out there? Okay. You can always email me as well. It's humans at small pet select h o o m a n s at small pet select and i'll get back to you dot com sorry and i'll get back to you um, otherwise right yeah angoras um, yeah rachel angoras are tough they are the most wonderful rabbits they are so patient and so funny they have these great senses of humor i just love angoras but they are super high maintenance. Yeah. So are you talking about maybe under here, under the chin? I'm going to assume that's where you mean. Um, it, it, it's easiest to do that with two people. If you have another set of hands to kind of hold the chin up so that you can get in there and um, clip them out 
or just comb it every day. Combing every day really, really, really helps with them. Um, the other thing you may want to consider, and again, it's probably going to take you, um, you're going to need another set of hands, but um, clip your Angora down. Yeah, you know, if you see uh, uh, Molly and Wally online, for instance, you'll see that Wally, the famous Angora rabbit, is, is, is clipped pretty close. You don't have to do that all over them if you don't want to, but, oh, by their ears, okay, Jersey Wooly, okay. Um, I would suggest then keeping that area, like I said, really clipped down. You don't have to do the whole rabbit if you don't like that look, but those areas where they tend to, the base right here and between the ears where they get those mats and under the chin, a lot of rabbits get them there. Um, just keep that little area really clipped down um, and that, that kind of alleviates the whole problem. Yeah, That's the best solution. I'm not sure if you'll like the look or not, but that's, that's what keeps everybody comfy. So. <laughs> so beautiful and so patient. She's not very patient. She is very beautiful. Um, she is um, actually not my rabbit. She's just staying here in my care while her person is out of town for a while. But she's she's a lot of fun. She's a real a real scream. She's um, she plays a lot of practical jokes on me. And no matter what I do to uh, secure their pen, she lives with her sister here, Corey Lee's. Whatever I do, I mean. I've put all kinds of things on this, and they always manage to get out, and when I come up in the morning, here they are, in the middle of the room, just looking at me like, well, it took you long enough to get breakfast to us. Yeah, they're great. They're so smart. Okay. All right. So, any other questions out there before I say goodbye? Um, we're going to try to do this weekly. Um, next week, I will be out of town at a meeting about pet food. But when I get back, we're going to start doing these um, probably on Sundays. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, they are a couple of stinkers, Becca. <laughs> well, I love them. I really do. I'm not looking forward to when their person comes back and I have to give them back um, because they're, they've really grown on me. They're, they're very cool rabbits. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks so much. And let me know if I can do anything for you. All right. Bye.